morning, school. Good morning. Good morning once more. Good morning. I want to go straight to the point. St. Charles Longa is an institution founded on serious Christian principles, ethos, and morals. And therefore, with that foundation, there are certain practices, imaginations, thoughts that cannot be allowed in our midst. One of that is discrimination, whether discrimination on the basis of religion, creed, tribe, and even worse still, discrimination on the basis of color. We cannot allow any form of discrimination in this institution. You all know what happened last night. A few criminals tried to abduct Albert, one of our students. And it is unfortunate that they are working with cohorts with some colleagues on, my, on this divide to make cheap money. It's unfortunate how the pursuit of cheap wealth has driven mankind and humanity to the lowest annals of immorality. It's unfortunate that such an action can be perpetuated in this institution. But at least I thank Juma, one of you. Where is Juma? Kindly come forward. <laughs> Juma, you had a friend. Where is your friend? Where is Juma's friend? <laughs> Young men, these are my heroes for today. Juma, I want to thank you so seriously because you acted to avert a catastrophe. We will be talking about a disaster this morning. We are in, we are in to note for his action and the action of his friends. Can we give him a clap again? <laughs> and therefore, as I conclude, I want to promise that such behavior will never be tolerated. We must appreciate that we are different, and differences make us better. They don't make us different. We are all equal, created in the image of God. Skin color is only skin deep. Inside there, we are the same. I want to promise that we are going to deal with this thing head on. We are going to ensure that everybody who participated in this heinous crime has been put to book. We we'll knock doors, we we'll knock the doors of offices, and we'll ensure everybody pays for this crime. Juma and your friends, you had something to say. Go ahead. With me here is a summary on albinism, and is mainly focused at improving our social uh, with these albinos in the world. Albinism in humans is a congenital disorder characterized by complete or partial absence of pigment in the skin, hair, and legs. It is due to absence or defect of trisocinase, a copper-containing enzyme involved in the production of melanin. It is the opposite of melanism. Since there is no cure for albinism, it's managed through lifestyle. People with al albinism need to take care not of sunburns, and, and should have regular skin checks by dermatologists. Albinism in popular culture has mainly improved in the modern world. Goldalin Kakuye, a top performer in KCPE, has, has mainly stand out for the albinos in, in Kenya. A former nominated MP, uh, Mr. Mr. Moura, is an albino, but never, uh, is, is never underestimated. So let's, let's not discriminate these albinos. Yeah. Good morning, school. I stand here with great bitterness. Can't believe what happened yesterday night. I mean, how can you do such an act to Albert, one of our fellow students? He's like family to us, and such wayward characters. Money, is that what you think of? You're such a disappointment to such a great school. To my fellow students, Please, socialize with Albert. Don't degrade him. Involve him in every activity that you do. Please, I encourage you, befriend him. Don't degrade him, please. He's just one of us, part of our community. He's like family to us. So I encourage you, don't talk evil about him just because of the skin color. Otherwise, have a nice day. <laughs>